Hi everybody, uh, today we are going to change the lower unit oil on my Yamaha 115 horsepower two-stroke outboard motor. Uh, this model is built in 2008 and I like to change the lower unit oil uh, once a season. So here we go. So first thing we're going to do is there are two screws that we have to remove. Uh, one is the drain and one is the fill. Actually, drain and fill are the same thing. There's one screw right down here that we're going to loosen, and that's going to drain the oil. And then there's one uh, drain plug right here that we're, we're going to remove. And that's going to allow air to get into the system to allow it to drain more quickly. Here we go. My drain pan, catch the oil. Here it comes, starting to flow out. Put that there. Now I'm going to loosen this one. It'll get air in the system, and it should really start flowing. There. Now it's now it's moving. Right, that's upper. It's lower. So while that's draining. Uh, get ready for our fill. We're going to fill it with this West Marine lower unit gear lube uh, 80W90. That is the standard uh, for outboard motors. This I just bought this at West Marine for about nine, ten bucks. You can also get some fancier versions for almost double the price, but I think this is going to work just fine. So we'll come back when this is all drained. One of the things you notice, I don't know if you can see, but the oil coming out is nice and clear. There's no milky uh, look to it. If it was milky, that would mean that water was getting in the lower unit, but that looks good for ours. There's something else that's interesting here. The bottom uh, drain plug is actually magnetized, so I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bunch of little pieces of metal attached to it, which means that there's some wear and tear being done to the gears down here, and so that's not ideal, but not much we can do about it except keep changing the oil and keep the oil clean. So yeah, you can really see the iron little piece of filings right there. All right, the draining has really slowed down, so most of it is out. And the good news is the oil coming out is pretty clean. So now we're gonna take our lower unit gear lube and got this pump, and we're gonna screw this into the drain plug. All right, that's all screwed in here. And you might notice that we are filling uh, the gear lube from the bottom up. That's because we get, this is gonna force all the bubbles out of, it's gonna force the bubbles out of the lower unit and force them all out through this hole. So what we're doing is we're gonna pump this until we see oil squirting out of this top tube. And I did a little research. My engine takes about 26 ounces of lower unit oil. And this uh, little quart, which is 32 ounces. So we're gonna use most of this. Pump 
open. Nothing yet. Again, we're looking for it to come out of this hole. And that'll know that we have filled up the reservoir from the bottom. take our top drain plug, put it in there, just tighten that. Tight. Now we take out the bottom one where we've been pumping it in and we quickly put in our drain plug with the magnet on it. And the stuff's pretty thick, so it's not much is going to drain out. Watch. You do want to be quick though, getting this back on. And there we go. Here we go. We're all done. So thanks for watching. Hope you push the like button and hope you subscribe for more videos.